If you're looking for a free, easy to use task manager, I would definitely look at to do. And today we're going to just take a brief view of how to use to do. And remember, this is all within the free outlook.com account that I've signed up for. So stay tuned. We'll jump right to it. So here we have a feature within to do called my day and my day allows me to see all the tasks that are assigned to me for that day. So for example, here, I may, I may want this one. Let's undo. This is done. And I want to make sure that that's going to be in my day. I can drag this right over to my day. And now it will show up as my day here and I can easily focus on that. Now I can also mark that complete for my day and I get the little ding telling me all's good. I can also create different folders here to list out everything that's my day and um, that are my tasks, excuse me. And so you can see all of that. Very, very simple. Additionally, I can use my app. So here I can see my app and my app actually shows me everything that I'm seeing again right here. This is on my Android device and you can see everything that's completed and add new tasks as well. So very, very simple. I can even voice dictate those new tasks if I choose. So this is a very easy to use format. It'll keep your tasks and to do items all in one place. It'll work with your Outlook as well and give you the opportunity to assign tasks to yourself. Let's take just real quick and look at one other example of a to-do environment, which has a few more areas or it has a few more data in it. And let me just show a few things that you can and can't do with Microsoft to do. So again, great tool for seeing what's due. I can hide completed tasks. Now notice here it says M365, Akati, Spork. Do you see all the different, but notice here it says tasks. Now this means that it was created here on within to do. Now you notice here it says Akati plan assigned me. I can also open that in Teams. When I click on wash and car, I don't see any of that. That's because this wash the car was actually created within to do and this was created within planner. So in either case, those do show up on your mobile device. Um, they will show up here as well. It doesn't matter if it's to do or planner. So that's one thing to take note of. The next thing you might want to take note of is the way we can drag and drop uh, tasks. So let's start here with just dragging a task down to Sam here. So I can take this task, drag it, push it right into Sam, but no, I can't because it's a planner task. So that's why I explained to you some things are planner, some things are native. But notice what I have here planned, like for example, um, what was that, wash the car right here? Can I drag that to Sam? I can't drag that to Sam either because it's not clicked as important. Now, if for some reason it's important, I can drag it over to Sam, works just fine. So I don't know why that is, it just is. Here I can also do a right click and say, move this task to anywhere that I want it to go. All right. I can also do other things here. I can mark it as unimportant, but it stays inside of Sam. Okay. So I can do that. So I can also take and move this back by saying, move it to Joe and it automatically moves it to Joe. Now let's look at groups. Here, if you want to create a new group, click there. If you want to see people within a group, for example, Joe and Mary and the family, you can click there. Now, when Joe opens this up, he's going to see his tasks assigned to him. So quickly, what are some of these things? Tasks, again, are things that I have on my local system. Planned are things that are planned for me. My today allows me to say, hey, I want to do this today and I want to do this today. So I can add both of these to my today list or I can take them off of my today list by clicking on that little star. Whoops, the X right there, excuse me. So very simple application. I know I've gone through it quickly. Hopefully you've garnished a few things out of it, but the key thing is this is not planner. This is a to-do list, but it works great. If you're just trying to knock out items, you can adjust 
due dates. You can do all types of things right within this environment, right? I can click on this and go over here and do it for a different day. So it really works exceptionally well for just to do type of checklist items. So check it out.